Hello wonderful people, welcome to Coffee Over Apples. My name's Steph and we are here today with my June TBR game, Bookish Blackjack. Let me know what you think of this color that I'm trying out. I'm really feeling this look today. It's like this grayish matte lipstick. I don't know. Tell me what you think. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to explain really briefly the rules. This is a TBR game that I play every month in which I'm going for six prompts playing the card game Blackjack, also known as 21. If you are familiar with these rules, I will leave a timestamp down below so you can fast forward to when the game starts. But I play a couple rounds of Blackjack and the goal of the game is that you are playing against the dealer. The person who gets the closest to the number 21 without going over wins. So you can take more cards. Um, or you can choose to not take more cards. If I lose a round, I have to pull a challenge from my challenge jar. This has things I might not want to read, challenges I have to do that might be book related or non-book related or video related, we'll find out. Um, but essentially jack, queens, and kings all count as 10, so a jack plus an 8 equals 18. An ace counts as 1 or 11, depending on how you would like to use it. So an 8 plus an ace can equal 9 or 18. An 8 plus an ace can equal a 9 or a 19. If I have less than the dealer, then the dealer has to keep taking cards at least up until they get to the number 17 without going over. And the prompts that are on those cards are what I have to read for the month. So. Here we go with round number one. Welcome to the casino board. For this month, our candy snack casino chips are animal crackers. They've got strawberry icing on them. Ooh. Here we go with round one. Okay, okay, I'm starting off with a 10 at poetry in verse. Dealer has a five. Ooh, my second card is a borrowed book at three. Okay, so let's see, I have 13. Dealer side. I could probably hit this. I'm gonna take another card and hopefully it's enough to get me close to 21 without going over. Hit. Ooh, 16 at an ebook. Alright, okay. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna stay. If the dealer has to take a card, I'm assuming it's gonna be a high card next because we got some low cards that just came out so let's see what the dealer has Ooh, okay dealer has a six six and five that is eleven and the dealer has to hit so I have sixteen so the dealer has to at least stop at seventeen so Ooh, dealer has 20! No! <laughs> We're used to this by now. It's all good. <sighs> Come on, nothing too hard. Oh, I think I think it's caught on something. Ooh, oh, I keep grabbing two. I can't, I just need one. Okay, I've got, I've got one. All right. Oh, okay. It says, read a friend's two star book, which we know how this went last time because I had to read a friend's one star book and I did a rant review because I also gave that book a one star. So, woo. 
Ooh, alrighty. Two stars, two stars. Looks like I'm going to need my laptop. All right, so I've got my laptop here and the way that Reading Like a Friend works is I go to Goodreads and I'm going to share a screen with you what I'm doing on my laptop at the same time. Um, but I go to Goodreads and I go to my friends list and then I have to go to a random number generator and choose a random number that's going to correspond to a friend on that list. Then I compare our books and I'm going to choose one of their two stars. So let's see where this goes. How many friends do I have? I have 81 friends on Goodreads. Um, random number generate. So between one and 81 and generate. Oh, 78. Okay, so 81 minus 78. So I just can go to the end and count back three, I guess. Um, so I'll go to the end. And then count back three. No, 81, 80, 79, 78. Oh, Andy. Okay, cool. So I know Andy. Andy's a fellow booktuber. Um, let's compare our books awesome oh well all right okay andy's books in common 78 10 percent of your library and 4.44 percent of theirs 680 books not in common all right so let's see andy well we both rated mostly hero one star which i did a rant review on um oh he rated vampire state building one i rated it three you know what rereading that now i might have rated it lower Devil's Line was a four in both of us. Yes. Um, Tokyo Ghoul pretty much rated the same. Okay, okay. Two stars. Um, two star, two star. Let's see, are there any books on here that rated two star? Are there any books on here that Andy rated two star that I have not read? Ooh, we've pretty much read everything the same, um, I guess. All right, let's go to, let's just go to Andy's page. And I'll link Andy's channel in the description below too. Uh, let's go to their red. Oh, wait, they have a two star shelf. Hello, perfect, they have a two star shelf. Thank you, Andy, for being so organized. You just made my life easier. I do not have any shelves that are organized by like my star rating. It's just red, currently reading, to be read, and then DNF, so. Um, that is a genius idea, Andy. Thank you for that. Um, okay. Any books on here that I am interested in reading? I already read Carmela. Um, any books that I have? Ooh. I don't have any of these, but I can probably get some from my library. Um, oh, Will Grayson. Will Grayson is on my TBR. Luster is also on my TBR. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm curious as to why they rated that. Two stars. I'd like to go with a standalone. So let's, let's check out Luster. It's 240 pages. And Luster is by Raven Leilani. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, no one wants what no one wants. And how do we even know what we want? How do we know we're ready to take it? Eddie is stumbling her way through her 20s, sharing a subpar apartment in Bushwick, clocking in and out of her ab and jaw, making a series of inappropriate sexual choices. All right. And she's also halting fitfully, giving heat and air to the art that simmers inside her. And then she meets Eric, a digital archivist with a family in New Jersey. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Including an... <laughs> Autopsist, uh, autopsist wife who has a who has agreed to an open marriage with rules as if navigating the constantly shifting landscape of contemporary sexual manners and racial politics weren't hard enough Eddie finds herself unemployed and invited into Eric's home though not by Eric she becomes a hesitant ally to his wife a de facto role model to his adopted daughter Eddie may be the only black woman young Akila knows all right um, looks like I'm going to see if Luster is at my library and let's see if I give it a two-star reading. 
like Andy did. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. This month. This month is not going well, huh? All right. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Two more animal crackers. <laughs> oh, yes. An ace at a random color generator. Two has seven. Oh, yes. 21. Woo. Yes. Well, doesn't matter what the dealer has because I have 21. So I automatically win. My prize for getting a blackjack right on the first try is that I get to take one of the dealer's books and whew, which one do I want? Do I want an audiobook or do I want to get through my physical TBR? I think I want to get through my physical TBR. So I'm going to go with a paperback. Yes, I won these. Woo! For the card. Random color generator. Okay, I haven't gotten this card at all since I've started playing this game. So that's really exciting. I do have a couple books that I have to read this month. I'm hoping either blue or pink comes out. So starting now, I am going to do a random color generator. And let's see what comes up. I will put the color generator on the screen. Random color. Oh! Oh. That is a, that is a burgundy. A reddish burgundy. Kind of like the color that I'm wearing a little bit. Um. Gosh. Okay. Well, one of the books I have to read this month from a book club are blue. So that doesn't work. Um. How about, is Hanakimi volume one that I also have to read this month? Is that color on it? Oh, oh, that color, is that the same color that's in this title? I think so. I think that works. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Why did I think? Because the background's kind of pink. That's probably why I thought that. But that looks like. That looks red to me. Awesome. I'm going to be reading the first volume of Hanakimi, which is my selection for the month of June for the host club, which is the manga book club that I read. Um, Hanakimi, I watched as a, I think it was a Taiwanese drama and I love that drama so much. It's pretty old. I want to say it's like 2006 around there sometime but it's basically following this old trope of a girl who is in love with this guy. He is a uh, sports uh, pole vaulter and she ends up dressing like a guy just so she can get to the all-boys school where he goes and get close to him and just like get to know him. What she thinks is gonna come out of it? Duh ridiculousness. So that's essentially what it is. It's like a romantic comedy. Um, yeah, I have not read the manga before, but like I said, I love the uh, TV adaptation drama version. I think there might be, is there a Japanese version as well? There might be. Um, so definitely if you want to join us, I will leave the information and uh, the date and all that on my description below, but it's going to be on my channel with my co-hosts in the end of June. For the card. male author. This works really well because in the month of June for the Cosmere Crab Along, we are actually reading White Sands, which is the graphic novel, and there's three uh, volumes in this graphic novel series by Brandon Sanderson. It's part of the Cosmere, 
and I'm really really looking forward to it. I don't know much about it so I guess I will just read you the synopsis off of Goodreads. Okay, so here is the synopsis of volume one of White Sand. It says, a brand new saga of magic and adventure by Brandon Sanderson, we know that. On the planet of Taldane, we can go into a whole conversation about how to say characters' names from the Cosmere. Listen. I'm trying, okay? On the planet of Taldane, the legendary sand masters harness arcane powers to manipulate sand in spectacular ways. But when they are slaughtered in a sinister conspiracy, the weakest of their number, Kenton, believes himself to be the only survivor. With enemies closing in on all sides, Kenton forges an unlikely partnership with Chris, a mysterious dark sider who hides secrets of her own. White Sand brings to life a crucial, unpublished part of Brandon Sanderson's sprawling Cosmere universe. Oh, the story has been the story has been adapted by Rick Hoskin, quote Mercy Thompson, with art by Julius Gopez and colors by Ross Campbell. I feel like Ross Campbell is a pretty prominent name in graphic novels. Ooh, ooh, this sounds like it's gonna be fun. And I see, ooh, I see, ooh, I see a couple three star ratings. Ooh, that's, that's surprising. All right, but I'm reading volumes one through three for that. For the card, a paperback. Perfect, because in the month of June, I am hosting for my sci-fi book club, the Interstellar Book Club, Gideon the Ninth. I am so excited for this. I've heard so many things about this series. I'm pretty sure it's a duology. I don't think there is a third one, or if there is going to be a third one, I'm not sure about it. But, literally, all I know is what everyone says, which is lesbian necromancers in space literally space magic necromancers sophic romance that is all i need to know like there is nothing else that i need to know to get me more hyped for this so i am actually going to be oh it's it says it right on the back. <laughs> book one in the locked tomb trilogy okay so there is going to be a third book oh Gideon the Ninth unveils a solar system of swordplay, cutthroat politics, and lesbian necromancers. That sounds like my perfect book. It sounds like, it, it just, it sounds like me in a, it, like my taste in a book. Like, that's all you need. That is all you need. <sighs> I'm so excited. But um, we are going to be hosting our live show with my other co-host on, I believe we have set it for May 23rd. Um, so I will leave the information for that in the description below so that you guys can subscribe to us and just that way you can uh, follow us on Twitter and our Discord if you want to get updates as to when stuff is going to be announced, when we have giveaways and like reading sprints and Discord chat with a bunch of sci-fi friends. Gonna have a good time. Okay, I am bedding two more cookies, and here we go. Oh yes, 10 with an arc. I always have arcs that I have to get to. Ooh, an award winner. Oh, I could really, I could really use some of that. Um, but the dealer has an ace. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh, short stories at 10. Yes. Oh, I have 20. It, it, the only way it gets better than that is 21. But the dealer might have 21. Oh, no. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Uh, dealer has either 3 or 12. They got a hit, so let's see what happens. Dealer has 13, has to at least get up to 17. Bust, yes, woo, I win these two. For the card, arc. 
yeah, I really gotta get these cards fixed. I'm thinking about just like redoing and actually getting these cards nicely printed because I had erased an old prompt that just didn't make any sense and put this prompt on there because I didn't have ARC as a prompt before. But for this prompt, I'm going to go with In, which is a graphic novel that I got off of NetGalley. Um, and it is set to be published June 8th, so I need to get to this pretty quickly, but it seems like I might be able to kind of fly through this. Oh, it's 300 pages, but it's a graphic novel, so I'll just read you the synopsis really quickly. Nick, a young illustrator, can't shake the feeling that there is some hidden realm of human interaction beyond his reach. He haunts look-alike fussy, silly coffee shops, listening to old Joni Mitchell albums too loudly, and staring at his navel in the hope that he will find it in there. But it isn't until he learns to speak from the heart that he begins to find authentic human connections and to let in to the world of the people he meets. Nick's journey occurs alongside the beginnings of relationship with Ren, a wry, spirited oncologist at a nearby hospital whose work and life becomes painfully tangled with Nick's. All right, so yeah, I need to hurry up and get to this pretty soon because uh, I need to put out my advanced review for that. So great, that worked out really well. For the card, Short stories. All right, cool. So my goal this summer while I'm at art school is to read more art history because I'm actually currently writing an art history curriculum because I'm going to be teaching art history um, to my college prep students next year. So I have this book, which is actually a collection of short stories or short essays um, about the secret lives of great artists. It's just like ridiculous facts about different famous artists throughout history. Um, so I think this is going to be a light and fast read. It looks like everything's kind of like broken up pretty smoothly and there's some fun fact pages and there might be some artwork in here which is pretty cool. Let's see. Um, we get like infographics on different artists. It's going to coincide with what I'm teaching next year and I need to read a ton of art history text this year. It is my goal while I'm at university in the summer at a specialized art school to read as many art history books as possible because what better place to prepare for teaching art history than at an art school. So this will be fun kind of like a break from reading heavy history text just to like catch up on some fun yet still related to art history stuff. This looks cute. On the back it says true tales of murder, forgery, trickery, and great art with outrageous anecdotes from everyone from Leonardo who is an alleged sodomist to Caravaggio. I love Caravaggio is like my favorite artist if you guys want a story time about when I went to Italy and went to a Caravaggio exhibit and it changed my life, let me know. But Caravaggio, who is a convicted murderer to Edward Hopper, an alleged wife beater, secret lives of great artists, recounts the seamy, steamy, and gritty history behind the great masters of international art. You'll learn that Michelangelo's body odor was so bad, his assistants couldn't stand working for him, or that Vincent van Gogh sometimes ate paint directly from the tube. Does that have any kind of connection to his alleged schizophrenia? Might be because, oh my gosh, the heavy metals that are in paint are ridiculous. You will die. Please don't eat paint. Um, did I say this was going to be light? This is going to be kind of dark, but to me, that might just be a good time. So I love dark things. This sounds fun to me. <sighs> All right, so there's two more books um, that I need to read for the month of June that did not fall into any of the six prompts that I got. But essentially what I need to read left is the second pick for the host club, which is the manga book club that I run with my friends. And we are reading Oran High School host club. Like, hello, we are the host club and we have yet to read the host club. So if you don't know about the host club, I'm super excited to read this digitally, but the Host Club is a classic anime, is it a harem? Kind of, not really, it's a comedy. 
It is lighthearted, it is high school, and it is this girl, very similar to Hanakimi, who goes to the school and ends up being part of this uh, club in which all these guys are kind of like serving tea time escorts to other girls. Um, wow, that was a really bad description, but it is hilarious. It's just, it's, it's a lighthearted good time. It is high school appropriate. It is YA. Um, so if my description put you off, please know that this is not an adult series. This is a YA series and it's very cute. The anime is super popular. It's just like a manga classic. So if you've always wanted to read The Host Club and you'd like to chat with us about it, we might do some live shows, some streaming. Um, definitely check us out. I will again leave all of our information for Discord, other hosts, and Twitter in the description below. And then lastly, I'm also as a co-host of the Ember in the Ash Along, which is the An Ember in the Ashes read along that is hosted by myself and a couple other amazing booktubers. Um, it's me and it's Jane from A Bookaholic, it's Sasha from The Wild Sasha, and it's also Esme from Paradise Pages um, on Twitter, who is also bookish buddies on YouTube. And we are reading the second book in this series because we read book one, which was An Ember in the Ashes in May. And I say past tense as if I'm not like currently reading at the time of filming this. Um, but I'm going to be reading book two, which is A Torch Against the Night. And I'm very excited about this. This is a YA epic fantasy series. And I'm still just like at the time of filming this, just diving in with the first book. So I can't really tell you what it's about. And if I read the synopsis, it's probably going to spoil book one for me. Um, so I will put on the screen here a slow scroll of the synopsis for you to read. Um, but that is what we are reading and I am super excited. There's quite a few people in our Discord. We do have a Discord for us to chat about it. So if you'd like to read along with us and chat, we also have a Twitter. Come and hang out with us. It is going to be a good time. We are having monthly reading sprints as a group and we're also holding a live show at the end of each month. We are reading books one through four from the months of May to August. So yay, more book buddies. Okay, that is it for my June TBR. I hope that you guys had fun with this. Um, man, I have a lot of reading to do in June. All this, plus my homework for university, plus extra reading art history um, for my job. So, whoa, looks like I'm gonna be reading way more than these six books. Physically, I only have these two, which, <laughs> and the rest are going to be ebook and audiobook. Um, I put a hold for Luster as an audiobook. So there's that, um, which probably means that once again I will be holding up a bunch of random books for the thumbnail so that the thumbnail is not misleading and it looks like I'm just reading two books. No, I'm reading, I'm reading quite a few books. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. Um, and I post videos every week. If you would like to follow me on all my other social media, it is linked down below. And if you'd like to support me, I have a Kofi and a GoFundMe in the description. Also, have a great day. Bye.